The ongoing issues with Pratt & Whitney's GTF engine have taken a drastic turn for the worse as the Iraq Civil Aviation Authority, or ICAA, has grounded all Iraqi Airways Airbus A220s. In a notice shared with Simple Flying, the ICAA stated, We ask you to completely and immediately stop the operations on all your A220-300 until further notice and until the investigation procedures are completed. Please inform us of your procedures as soon as possible. Let's look at this situation in today's video. Iraqi Airways operates four Airbus A220s, all the larger Dash 300 variant. All are under two years old, with the first delivered in November 2021. The youngest, Yankee India Alpha Romeo India, was delivered just this January and is one of the two aircraft mentioned by the ICAA in its communication. Simple Flying received some photographs which are alleged to show damage from a faulty engine. From the photos, it appears the fan casing has begun to deteriorate, although we cannot at this point verify the authenticity of the images. Airbus told Simple Flying it is aware of the issues and is working with the airline to minimize disruption. The plane maker said, We are aware of the Iraqi fleet situation. We are in contact with our customer and Pratt & Whitney. Together with the engine manufacturer, we are supporting our customer to minimize disruption to their operations. At the same time, Pratt & Whitney told Simple Flying that it was aware of the situation and was supporting its customer as required. Flight tracking data show no Iraqi Airways A220s have flown since May 3rd. The issue with the supply chain affecting GTF planned maintenance has been well reported, with carriers such as Air Baltic being forced to lease in additional capacity while it waits for its engines to return. However, the secondary problem seems to be impacting airlines operating in hot, humid and dusty conditions. The recent bankruptcy of India's Go First was attributed to problems with the GTF on its A320neo family aircraft. The airline told Flight Global that it had replaced 510 PW1100G engines in recent years and just last month had 64 defective engine incidents. The airline has taken the matter to court. A statement in the filing said, There have been numerous persistent and continuing technical issues with the defective GTF engines supplied by Pratt. While operators of the A320neo family can choose between the P&W GTF and the alternative product from CFM, operators of the A220 are only able to use the PW1500G. Iraqi Airways may be the latest victim, but other operators, particularly those flying in humid and dusty environments, are also suffering. According to reporting by Airspace Africa, both Air Tanzania and Air Senegal are grappling with engine failures on their A220s. Air Tanzania's CEO stated that despite the A220 engine being designed for 5,260 landings, the airline was having to remove power plants before even 1,000 landings were reached due to design flaws. Egypt Air currently has seven of its 12 A220s grounded due to engine issues, while Air Senegal's single A220 is also parked. What do you think of these A220 engine issues? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.